Hi guys, it's me, Lewis, and, and today I'm here to do a little rant on uh, on Hollywood. Now, over the past, over the past, I would say three or four years now, Hollywood has became possibly one of the shittest things to ever to ever watch and witness. Do you want to know why? Nothing but nothing more than just arrogant little bastards who 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 should who are telling us how to fucking run our lives. Telling us how to fucking, you know, do this and do that, how to wash the dish how, how to fucking wash the dishes, how to watch TV, how to fucking how to fucking stop people from how to stop people from downloading horrible shit on the internet, you know what I mean? But a few weeks ago, the Emmys happened. And <laughs> funny enough, this is possibly one of the most this is possibly one of the most annoying and yet cringiest fucking em Emmy shows I have ever fucking witnessed i never actually watched the live show itself but i've seen clips of it on youtube and i said to myself but now, and before i watched it i said to myself okay it can't be that bad guess what i was fucking wrong it was very 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 bad nothing but constant attack nothing but constant attacks from that on on donald trump because i'm just gonna i'm just gonna remind everyone again i don't fucking like the guy okay I don't fucking like him because he's, he's because yeah yeah obviously obviously yeah he is an intelligent guy but at the same time the reason why I don't like him is because he acts like acts a bit a bit of a fucking ass which which obviously yeah, a lot of people will agree on that. However, the re and however the Emmys was nothing but constant attack after attack after attack after attack on Donald Trump every single fucking time making the same old fucking Donald Trump jokes that I have heard. Like, 200 fucking times already. I was like, for fuck's sake, shut the fuck up! Nobody fucking cares! And it just, it just fucking annoys me. Hell, even even people who don't even fucking like him because if, if they have, like, different political views from him or or, or, or hate him because he's a, he's a complete fucking ass. The, the, those are the people who, who have gotten over be, um, being, you know, Donald Trump as their, as their president of, of their country. But even even they are telling the telling um, Hollywood and these celebrities to shut the fuck up about it, honestly. And here's a, here's a fun fact though: Hollywood is actually fucking dying, and I'm going to tell you why. Hollywood has lost seven point nine trillion dollars within the last year, and you and you and you want and you want to know what's caused that? Nothing but not nothing but non-stop reboots, remakes, pointless sequels, and 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 films based off based off a box that nobody has fucking read in their lives. Okay, and these celebrities will stop at nothing to get their way because these 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 celebrities that people people looked up to them like like being like oh I want to be like them one day. But ever since Donald Trump was running presidents, they've shown their true fucking colours. Arrogant, spoiled little pieces of shit who couldn't get their fucking way. Going, wait, wait, wait. I, I don't want Donald Trump to be a president. He's a fucking asshole. He's a fucking asshole. He's a racist. He's a sexist. Look, here's all fun fact though, mate. He wasn't fucking racist b before, before he said he was running for president, right? The reason... The reason why you don't fucking like him is because it's because he acts like a, like a complete ass. Just to fucking say that. There's, there's there's no there's no fucking need for you to get involved in politics saying saying oh politics just politics are so fucking important in our life. Maybe maybe we should shove them down people's throats. Fuck off. Fuck off, dickhead. Fuck off. And I'll tell you something right now, right? These celebrities lie to themselves constantly on a daily basis saying, oh, it's never your fault, it's never never your fault, it's that person's fault, or it's that thing's fault who 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 put who pushed you down the river. No. It's no, it's basically the celebrities' fault for starring in some of the shittiest films ever. And I'll tell you I'll tell you why these celebrities act like this. Do you wanna know the reason why they attack Donald Trump on a daily basis? It has nothing to do with, with them having difficult different different political views or anything like that. It has nothing to do with the fact that, he, well, may 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 or may not have may yeah may or may not have, have something to do with him acting like, acting like a, act, yeah, acting like a complete arsehole, right? But the main reason why they fucking attack him on a daily basis is because their careers ha have have 
have gone down the fucking shitter and they need someone or something to blame for their own fucking problems. Don't believe me? Take Robert De Niro, for example. The only film that he was good in was fucking was 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 a, was a film back in back in the nineteen back in the nineteen seventies, The Taxi Driver. That was the only film that he was good in. Then after then after that film was after that film was released, bam, there you go, bam, there you go. He starred in some of the most shittiest films ever since. From 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 Dirty Grandpa. Uh, what is it? Um, uh, meet meet the parents, meet the fuckers, which you know, yeah, fair enough. Um, which which explains why he's an, why, which explains the reason why he's an unfunny prick. And yeah, it just and yeah and yeah uh, and, and 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 the same and the same thing goes with um with what is it with uh with J.K. Rowling. The reason why she's attacking Donald Trump is because it's because nobody's buying her fucking books anymore. That's the reason why. Her, her books aren't even fucking selling as well as they used to be. That's why she's attacking them. That they they need, and same same thing, same thing goes with um with oh what what's what's his fucking name the guy the guy who played Hulk in the in in the, in, in, in the Avengers. Keep on his fucking name. These these celebrities only attack him constantly on a daily basis because they need something or someone to blame for their own fucking problems. And here's the thing though. TV ratings have gone down even more. Not not just not just the Emmys, but also, but also in but also in TV shows like like Netflix and Hulu, and even in even in fucking even even in fucking sports like ESPN, NFL. Um, I think I think I think well FIFA to an extent, but yeah, the, yeah, but yeah, T TV and Hollywood themselves are dying. They are fucking dying. And here's and here's, and here's a little and here's a little funny fact though. The new media and the independent media that that are part that are part of with the music and the the part with the music and the film industry are beating them by the numbers. Despite the fact that despite the fact that, that these in, that these that these really low budget independent films may not be that great, but kind of decent in a way, but with but with like original storytelling, at least at least that feels more fucking refreshing than mainstream shit today. And that right there, that right there feels very fucking nice. It really does. And the best, the best place that I would recommend to, to watch independent films is is a is a is a pretty much an app called Swag Films that you can get on your, on your phone, tablet. You know, you, you can download you can download it on on the Xbox, PlayStation. I think also I think also Nintendo Switch as well. But the reason, but here's, here's the thing, you know, the reason why the reason why Hollywood is killing itself is because it's got no fucking ideas left, and if, and that that will be a no fucking surprise to anyone, because there's there's nothing but nonstop re like like I said nonstop reboots remakes, pointless fucking sequels, and it's gone to a point it's gone to a fucking point where why bother why why fucking bother if you're a fucking actor starring in the same old repetitive shit over and over and over again. What what's the fucking point? What's the, what's the point of becoming a fucking mainstream celebrity now? I mean, I mean, be, 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 I mean, being, being an actor, fine, that, that's probably fine to, to an extent, but, <coughs> but what is, what is the point, what is the point being part of Hollywood now? Because it's nothing but arrogant fucking dickheads who constantly attack anyone who has a different point of view in life. Because when you when you try when you when you try to have like have like have like a normal conversation with them or try and have like a debate with them on on life and and political views and shit like that, they will they will literally just call you a racist, sexist, you know, z xenophobe, um, lava lamp phobe, uh, laptop phobe. There's so many fucking phobes and isms nowadays. You you can't keep track anymore. And and here's and like and, and, and like and like I said earlier. Like I said, like, but well, before a couple, a couple, a couple of months ago or a, year, or a few years ago, the terms racist, sexist, and homophobic ha have been so overused to the point where they don't mean shit anymore. They really fucking don't. Even if there's a, per even even if there is a person out there who is fucking racist, what's the point calling them that? Because you can you can you can thank you can thank the social justice pricks and feminists and and Hollywood celebrities who have overused it on a daily fucking basis. And like I said, Hollywood's dying, and they're going to lose more money anyway. There's, there's, honest, honest, honestly, we only, we only get one or two original, refreshing films every every year. And how long is that going to fucking last? Who knows?
And once Hollywood's dead, bam, there you go. It's just gonna, it's just gonna be a, a, an ordinary city with no, with no fucking film production or, or music production whatsoever. That's all gonna be gone, and I mean fucking gone. The only type of in, the only type of media that's gonna survive is the new media and the independent media. Those are the only two types of mediums that are going to survive. Mainstream shit is killing itself. Same thing goes with Hollywood. And to all the celebrities who, who are so fucking arrogant, so rich, so stubborn, so naive, ignorant, arrogant, and a little bit and a little bit fucked up in the head, go fuck yourself. Honestly. You have no idea what it's like to live fucking poor because you've let fucking greed and greed and fa gr yeah, greed and fame fuck with your mind. And it's true. Greed poisons one's soul. And I hope you're fucking happy about it. I really am fucking I, I really hope you are fucking happy about it. Because the reason why nobody fucking likes you is because you are a fucking dick. You are a dick, and I hope to fucking God that you do lose your job. I hope to God you do lose all your money. Because you are arrogant pieces of shit. Only a few celebrities have retired have retired from their job and never attacked Donald Trump in their lives. Can you see the difference? The celebrities who are still that still have a career attack them on a daily basis. The ones who are retired don't. Can you see the difference? Hope you fucking do. So yeah, so yeah, guys, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, tell me what are your thoughts on Hollywood and why, and why the fuck do you think it's absolute garbage? So, okay, guys, peace out.